Hey guys, welcome back to Layla Teachers. Today we'll speak about the reactions of carboxylic acids. Uh, but I'll start with a homework from my last video. So the first question was bromination of phenol and you had to name the product. So if you remember, I told you that with phenol, when it comes to nitration and bromination or halogenation, you do not get one position change, you get three different positions. So the answer is going to be uh, two, four, six, tri, promo, phenol. And you're going to get three molecules of hydrogen bromide because you need three molecules of bromine in order to fit it in three places. All right. Um, then we have the second question was you had to react ethyl a chloroethane with uh, benzene. So what do you get? And you had to name the product. So when you re react this, you it is alkylation of benzene, and then you end up with ethyl benzene, and then hydrogen chloride. Okay. The third question was, uh, you had to show the iodination of benzene. So it acts as an alkane. There is substitution because uh, the bonds are very strong so you're going to get iodo benzene and hydrogen iodide and the last question was you had to show the hydrogenation of benzene um, so benzene has three double bonds so you need three molecules of hydrogen and then you'll get the product as the one and only product is cyclohexane because it's a cyclic structure there are no double bonds it's an alkane and it is six carbons so it's hexane Starting with carboxylic acids, you remember the functional group was C double bond O and OH. Okay, so it has the carbonyl group and the hydroxyl group. Because of this, it is able to form intermolecular hydrogen bonds. Uh, speaking about the acidity of carboxylic acids, they're very weak acids compared to mineral acids. Obviously, addition of an electronegative atom like chlorine or uh, bromine is going to increase the acidity and benzoic acid is more acidic than the long chain ones because um, it is delocalized so it can undergo several reactions um, so with alcohols it can form esters with uh, phosphorus pentachloride or thionyl chloride it can form um, acyl chlorides um, or acyl halides with acyl halides it can or with uh, carboxylic acids themselves it can form anhydrides with amine it can form amides and with bases or metals it can form salts okay so the first type is with alcohol so when you have hydroxyl group and you have carboxyl group you will get ester and if you remember from a previous video, I mentioned what an ester bond looks like. It looks like this, the carbonyl group with attached with an O to the alcohol. And that is the ester bond. Okay, let's do an example together. So we'll take methanol, the simplest alcohol with the benzoic acid. Now, methanol is CH3OH, benzoic acid is just a benzene molecule with a carboxylic group um, or carbon 1, you can say, or even carbon 2, doesn't matter. So what happens, I am going to draw the um, atoms out for you to show you the bonds clearly. So the OH and the OH from the alcohol, you have to remove a water molecule, which is H2O. So you're going to remove OH from one and H from the other and then join the remainder. So you'll get C double bond O, O and then CH3. And that is your ester bond. And uh, you're going to have water as a side product. And if you remember, I told you it ends with O8. So first you have to start with the alcohol. So the alcohol was methanol. So you'll have methyl. And then the acid was benzoic acid, you'll have benzo 8. Methyl benzo 8 is the name of this ester. 
All right, moving on with the second one was the reaction of carboxylic acids with either phosphorus, pentachloride, or thionyl chloride. So this is the conversion of um, carboxylic acid to an um, a alkyl halide. So um, this is what we get. And this is benzoyl chloride. The name of this product is benzoyl chloride and you need to remember that it is very reactive, much more reactive than carboxylic acids. Okay, our third group was uh, formation of anhydrides. Now, if you remember, I told you anhydrides are when a um, carboxylic um, group is bonded with another carboxylic group or even it can be acyl group as long as we have C double bond O attached with another C double bond O like this. This is what it looks like, the bond. Okay, so here's an example. Let's just take benzoic acid again. So we need two benzoic acids here. Um, or you can even take a chloride, but let's just take two benzoic acids. Again, you have to remove water. It's just like an ester. It's a condensation reaction. So once you remove the water, you're going to get the anhydride bond okay all right number four was formation of amides if you react a carboxylic acid with an amine you're going to get an amide okay an example is here is a secondary amine okay so you can say it's dimethylamine and you react it with benzoic acid again you're going to get benzamide and a water molecule the last type is a reaction with a base for example let's say sodium hydroxide uh, with a carboxylic acid so what happens is the hydrogen from the hydroxyl group is substituted with the metal and the remainder goes into water. So you have benzoic acid and if I react it with sodium hydroxide, I'm going to get um, sodium benzoate, which is um, benzoic acid. Instead of the hydrogen, we have a sodium and you have to write it as O negative, sodium positive and you get water molecule. It is known as sodium benzo 8. Okay, yeah, I'll give you some homework questions. So question number one is, show the reaction of acetic acid and ethanol. As usual, name the product. Question number two, Show the reaction between acetic acid and acyl chloride and name the product. Question number three. Show the reaction between propanoic acid and phosphorus pentachloride. And finally, complete the following reaction. I will give you the product, you have to name the product and you have to tell me what the reactants were. Okay, and that is it for this video. I will see you in my next one. Take care, bye.